Hello everybody and good morning. This is our last full day on vacation. We are in Saranda, Albania. I started out the morning with some scrambled eggs and then the four of us just enjoyed the view from the balcony in our Airbnb. This was a Sunday morning and the gym was closed so Michael and Marshall did not go to get their workout on but that's okay. We just had a lazy morning in visiting and talking and getting ready for the day. Marshall and Mary had planned a really cool adventure for our last day on vacation. They had rented a private boat just for the four of us that was going to take us out for about eight hours on the Ionian Sea and take us to several places where we could get out and swim and snorkel and play on the beach before finally taking us to spend several hours at a public beach where we were going to be served lunch and have our own little tiki spot and some snacks. I never knew before I came to Albania just how beautiful it is, but I love the mountains coming right up to the sea. This was the first spot where the captain stopped the boat and let us out to swim. How easy, babe? Can you help Do you have fins? Do you want yours? Michael took the GoPro with him as he swam towards the cave. Where's Julie? Oh. <laughs> you okay? We had a light. The water was pretty clear, although it did have a fair amount of sediment in it. There weren't really many fish to see, but the rocks were awesome. I really enjoyed swimming around looking at them. Yielding forces. I mean, yeah, because you can see they, they changed direction. After they were formed. Yeah. After they were formed, you know. Snapping continents. What? Buckle under the three.
Wow, did that happen fast or slow? I, uh, How long can we stay here? 30 minutes. 20? They're laid down slowly. I don't know they compressed, it happened probably even more slowly than compression. Cool, 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 cool. That is wild. Yeah, we're gonna jump here, but I want a few photos. This is the third place where our captain stopped the boat and led us out to go swimming. The rock formation behind us was so beautiful and we enjoyed playing on the beach in the shade. The next place that our captain let us off the boat was at this beach, which was sunny and warm, and the waves were a little bit calmer than they were back where there were caves. We had the beach all to ourselves for about an hour before anyone else even showed up. The captain set us up some umbrellas, so we had a shady place to put our stuff. I had never been to a beach that had pebbles and rocks instead of sand before my trip to Greece and Albania. I really like it. It was fun to stack the rocks up and play in them and I also like not having to shake sand out of everything when it's time to pack up and leave. Mary whipped up this awesome charcuterie spread out of nowhere. I didn't even know she brought food with her that day, but it was a great little mid-morning brunch. It was only a matter of time before the guys started scavenging around for rocks to make a Zen rock stack. Mary and I didn't really help them build the stack, but we sure did pose for some pictures with it after they were done.
The final stop on our trip was at this public beach. We had our own chairs under an umbrella and about three or four hours to spend before we had to get back on the boat. As you can see, with this many people out swimming in the water, it was nowhere near as clear as the water at some of the other beaches we had already been to, so I was really glad we got our chance to snorkel before we came here. We did have a ball with us, and we took it out in the water to toss it around. Michael and I swapped off with the GoPro on our wrist just to see what the footage would look like in the middle of our ball game. I was trying really hard to get some footage of my Vivo barefoot water shoes from upside down in the water, but it didn't really work out. <laughs> sunscreen on the back of my head to see where I need to reapply more later. This just seemed like a good day to pass around some junk food and I'll be the first to admit Michael and I will have a junk food day every now and then when the time and place call for it. We had Doritos and some type of Cheetos and they were so delicious. I had every intention of bringing this rock home and incorporating it into my skincare and then somehow forgot and left it in Albania. Lunch was included with our boat day and let me tell you this was absolutely delicious. I know we were extra hungry from all the swimming but that fish was so so good and it came with some cheese and even vegetables that we ate on the side. As far as I can remember this was my first ice cream cone that I had had in five years.
All too soon, it was time to pack up our stuff and get back on the boat to head back to Saranda. This will probably always be one of my favorite days of my life. I had so much fun and I'm so grateful to Marshall and Mary for making all of this happen. Back at our Airbnb, we all got cleaned up and changed and then enjoyed the sunset from our balcony. I know it probably looks like all we did this day was eat, but I tell you what, that amount of swimming had really worked up an appetite. We were all pretty hungry and we decided to walk down the hill towards downtown and we went to this pizza place and each ordered our own pizza. We ate pretty much everything you see here. After the pizza, we were still hungry, so we went in search of the gelato. That's where I stopped filming for this evening and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in our next vlog.